that guy should have went to driver ed class every Tuesday at room 210 after school. Welcome to the year of the rooster according to the Chinese zodiac. So, the symbolism with the rooster is the rooster is most often represented as a symbol of courage and honesty. The rooster even was believed by the Greeks to be able to crow to bring out the sun in the morning. The Greeks then also used the rooster to decorate some of their buildings and structures in order to, for the belief that the sun would rise on their house, giving them even more honor. Thank you, and welcome to the year of the rooster. Well, scheduling is probably, it's a high priority in high school, but it really is like what we do the least in our job. So that would be academic, career, and personal social. Also to come and talk about themselves. If a parent has a concern, the parent can come in and talk to us about their student. So we're really first and foremost, the student's advocate. So trying to maybe deal with the things that are going on in society more so now, the pressures. I see it's more peer pressure now. You can't be successful in any kind of personal growth without um, confronting any mental health issues that you might have um, or just anxiety, depression, whatever it might be. So I think you really have to work through that before you can be successful at academics or socially. Doing what you love never feels like work a day in your life. And if they just simply go to class, that's not enough. They have to expand their horizons. Be true to yourself. Yes, doing your best here at school. So man, you really enjoying school this year? Oh yeah, it's been great. Got any teachers that you like? I'm starting to really enjoy That's good. Did you know that Media Club is selling coffee mugs for $5? No, I didn't, actually. You can fill them with an arrange of goodies and candy and show your teacher that you really like them. Sweet. I'm gonna give this to me now. Good morning, Amphi. Where am I? <laughs> I'm at the four steps. You see, there seems to be a bit of a stigma surrounding this place, and people seem to think that those who hang out here are crazy, weird, or just flat out unpleasant. But we'd like to ask around and see perhaps another side of the four steps and see if it's worth all the negative talk about it. So I go to the four step because, I mean, it's pretty fun. There aren't a huge number of people here, and uh, all my friends hang out here, and yeah, it's awesome. Um, the reason why I hang out here is because most of my friends are here and uh, it's a good place to hang out and play Yu-Gi-Oh! So about the four steps, alright? Let me tell you something. I left there about, let's say, freshman year, mainly because it was too loud and obnoxious. But the people are pretty nice. It's not a bad spot at all. Yeah, I don't think the four steps is that bad. I mean, there's worse. The people there is just as normal as everyone else. I'm not going to discriminate against them. I went there like once or twice and the people were pretty chill. Hey Panthers, so Student Council is having a popcorn fundraiser. So it's a lot of different pop pop kind of popcorns that you guys can get. There's In Queso Fire, there's Peanut Butter Chocolate Time, there's Butter Believe It, Butter. So these are popcorn bags that range from seven to $30. There's a small package, there's a, like a medium jar package, and then there's a big jar package. So you guys should go and ask any student council members out there to buy some popcorn.
a couple minutes. <laughs> guys, point out, point out. attitude right now that you guys have is like you've already won the match. Uh, we need to go into this second half like we're down two to one, all right? You gotta stop your celebrating and we gotta go after it for the next 40 minutes. Okay, we haven't won this match yet, have we? No. <laughs> hey, I'm take you, I'm telling you from a football perspective. Do not let them hit you. They hit you, you're gonna feel it. You hit them back at the same time, then you're not gonna feel it as much. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three, three, one! Oh! How did you follow me? They're gonna come at you like there's no tomorrow. Do they wanna lose? Be number one at home? Okay? Let's go out there and take this away from them like they have the last two years from us. All right? Hey, you guys can do it. We all know the story of Romeo and Juliet, right? One of Shakespeare's most famous plays. If not, spoiler alert. Romeo and Juliet, they fall in love, but unfortunately they're from rival families, which means they can never be together. I always wonder what would happen if this took place in the 21st century instead. Did I hit pause when I did that? Okay. Every year we alternate between a musical or an all-school play. So this year is the all-school play. And it's a great opportunity for kids to do um, things in drama if they can't fit drama class into their schedule. The play is called, Did Someone Say Murder? And of course the theme is murder, but it's actually a funny play, so it's not a thriller or anything like that. And it happens in a restaurant, and one of the patrons of the restaurant gets murdered, and then everyone else has to solve the crime. And it's a really fun play, and it involves about 16 different characters, and we had auditions just this week, we finished yesterday, and we're gonna start having rehearsals on Mondays from 4 to 5.30, and the play, April 20th and 21st, Okay, that's what I can think of. Oh, God. 
street cred. I'm playing about. I'm playing out there. Jason? Is that Jason? No. Ah! Yo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>